What's going on guys, Linus here, and I actually had another subject I wanted to talk about in this whole YouTube talk and advice series. And this time, it is mostly advice for people that just do um, standalone commentaries, not let's plays. And um, the subject is what to talk about during your commentaries, because um, you need, you know, a good subject. You can't just start talking like I do, because it doesn't work out that well. Um, you need something to talk about at least, something interesting, um, you know, th that people will actually be entertained by or be interested in and people will look for it. And, um, I mean, one of, one of the first examples I can give you is obviously uh, recent events. Now, I actually wrote this down some time ago, but for example, the, the whole Coney 2012 stuff. Um, I guess if you have, like, an interesting opinion, if you're not some dumb uh, asshole... That doesn't have anything interesting to say. If you're like a reply girl, like intellectual, intellectually, uh, and you don't have anything to add to anything ever, you're just like, yeah, so, I mean, I sort of agree with people that say Kony should be arrested, and there's people there that I also do not really agree with, but in the end, I agree with everything. I mean, there's people that actually talk like that in their, in their commentaries, they just don't make any sense whatsoever. Um, so if you pick something to talk about, like Coney 2012, I also wrote down the elections in America, um, Iran. You know, if you have something interesting to say about the whole situation in Iran, you have some sort of insight on that that could be interesting to people. Um, you know, that could work. Also, there's, you know, Robert Bowling quitting um, and Hutch quitting, which is also very recent. I mean, there's so many people making videos about that right now, it's crazy. Um, especially Hutch, that is just out of proportions. If you if you search for Hutch quits, there's like a whole page of people with their commentaries, and they're like, "Oh, I used to watch Hutch's videos, and it's really stupid that he's gone." I'm like, "What? Do you really have to make a video to point out that you're gonna miss Hutch? Because everybody everybody ever that watched his videos and likes his stuff is gonna miss him." You see, there's no there's no point. To making a video about that, as, 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 except for you know getting views, because people will, will search for Hutch quits and they'll f they just find your video, and that's what you're hoping for. You, know, you don't care about Hutch; you just want a, a subject to talk about. Um, so if you don't have anything interesting to say on any matter, just don't do it. I'm serious. If you're gonna make a video just to say that you agree with everyone else or that you have the same opinion that everybody else does, if you don't add anything at all to a you know discussion, then just don't just don't do it. You're just wasting everybody's time, your own most of all. Uh, people are gonna dislike your video because it's gonna be terrible if you don't have anything to say. So just don't do it, okay? And um, I can actually advise doing this if you want to do like standalone videos. Uh, just, work, just write a few keywords down. I actually do that now, uh, so just so you know what you want to talk about. Sort of give it a little bit of structure. Because uh, if you don't, it's gonna be like, it could be, you know, turned into a broken master whole video with you just talking about random shit. At least that's what I do. If I start a, a commentary with a certain subject in mind, I just start talking random nonsense after a while. And I'm not sure when to end the video and that sort of stuff. So anyway, um, that's that. So you could talk about, you know, uh, recent events. That uh, That's a, a good one. Uh, but only if you have something interesting to add. Don't do it if you don't have anything to say. Uh, another good one is personal anecdotes. Um, I don't really have any subjects because I'm not subscribed to any Call of Duty commentators, but I know that they do. Uh, they talk about their personal stories, you know, in their live. I know there's like Dutch commentators that do this. Um, for example, it's Easter right now, so they could talk about what they did, like in Easter, something funny happened a few years back. I don't know, maybe their grandma tripped over an Easter egg and died. Just a funny, interesting little anecdote that could work. Um, so that's, you know, something you could, you could say. Um, you could also combine, like, recent events and a personal anecdote. So, for example, you want to talk about elections, and you're like, so, uh, you could talk, you, you know, you could tell an anecdote about when you wanted to vote, and then something funny happened or something. You can combine those things, because that's actually interesting to hear, because then you have your own personal input into a subject, and it's not just, oh, so there's something going on, and it's cool, like, you know, I have something to say. Um... Of course, you can also talk about the game. There's loads of people that do this when they, even the Call of Duty commentators, still give tips for the game, which I, which is fine, I suppose. They still make videos with uh, gameplay tips and how to play and all that crap. So talking about the game is actually considered, um, at least I consider it to be more interesting um, if you're interested in that game. 
um, because I tend to look for videos on a certain game that I'm very bad at just so I can learn something from it so like um, just you know walkthroughs and that sort of stuff uh, but just if you talk about the game it'll make it interesting to the people that actually want to learn something about the game uh, since not everybody is going to be interested in hear hearing about you know your grandma tripping over an Easter egg or whatever the subject might be um, you know some people some people actually search for Call of Duty commentaries just to learn about I don't know like good spots the I don't even I don't even know I don't play Call of Duty but whatever um, you know so that's something that um, that could be a good thing. Just talk about the game. Just make sure that you actually have some knowledge. Like, don't just start talking about a game if you know absolutely nothing. Like, if it's the first time you're playing it or the second time. Uh, I mean, for example, I'm doing a walkthrough on Fire Emblem, and I I've played that game before. I've played a lot of Fire Emblem, so I figured I'm just gonna do a bit of a walkthrough because I actually sort of know what I'm talking about. Like, I've played the game before. I am familiar with the series, and at least I'll be able to say something helpful to people that have never seen the game before. Uh, so that's that you know that could work as well uh, for some reason I wrote down certain subject oh yeah of course okay so um, if you have something in mind you know just like um, what I did before like learning from video games like that's not recent it's not a personal anecdote I mean I just sort of put some personal anecdotes in there but it's just a certain subject that you have some thoughts on that could be interesting for people to listen to just make sure that it's not a subject that is absolutely super boring. Just don't don't talk about the posters in your room, for example. And we're like, okay, so we're we're playing some Team Defender on a, a Call of Duty map. I don't know any of the maps, and um, yeah, I'm just looking at the posters in my room. And I was wondering what you, what sort of posters you guys have. So I got like this My Little Pony poster, and it's got Applejack on it, and it's really funny and quirky. Like, don't don't do that. Just just nobody will be interested in that. So try to pick a subject that's actually interesting and also if you have you know something interesting to add to it that will be great um, and you know also just um, get your your viewers into it you know just be like um, so I had this 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 opinion on, on a certain subject uh, what do you guys think you know leave a comment you know that if you say that you'll get your viewers um, involved in that stuff if you want to do that like not all commentators care about their viewers that much or they don't necessarily want feedback on on stuff um, I don't always ask for feedback I always get it but I don't always ask for it uh, but you know with the, with that learning from video games video I actually asked you know leave a comment right now and lots of people say oh you know um, video games taught me English you know just like me and um, you know that's just interesting because you start to, to, to know your subscribers especially if you don't have too many um, you're gonna uh, you know remember them uh, for me I have I have a bit too many to remember every single one of them um, but certain names stand out you know if you see um, just people uh, comment on a lot of videos you're gonna remember their names and and it just builds sort of a bond between you and your subscribers because you listen to them and you you know yeah, they, they talk back to you. There's not it's not just me talking to a a, um, a microphone. It's actually it's not well it's not the microphone talking back. That doesn't make sense. But people actually talk back to me, so I get something back from it and I learn from it. You know, that's a good thing. Um, now the final thing I like to point out, like this is not gonna be a super long video, um, is complaining and whining. Now there's loads and just when I say loads, I literally mean loads of commentators out there who just feel the need to complain and whine about everything. Like, absolutely everything. They're just complaining about the games they're playing, they're complaining about their YouTube channel and not being popular enough. Um, one of the most popular ones, this is my favorite one, is the Call of Duty community or the, the YouTube community. They're like, oh, yeah, we're a community. We're not a community. Get out of here. Everybody's just in it for themselves at this point and you know ever since there was money to be made There was just this big change. Uh, there's so many people that you know don't do anything fun anymore. They don't do anything for fun. I Mean I, I I'm not subscribed to any of those anymore But I know their channels and stuff and they just upload a video and they'll just start the video And they'll be like, okay, so we're playing this, but you know, I didn't like this game Why is it so hard to get subs? Uh, people don't like I have a dazzle and oh my god it's so hard to get subscribers if I had uh, HTTP VR I'd have like a million subscribers it doesn't work like that of course but people always find something to complain about and the community is just the most popular subject um, because everybody's talking about it 
and complaining about it and saying, so we're a community, we have to stand up together, blah, blah, blah. The only people that actually talk about being a community are, I think, the, like the super big commentators and then the um, the very small ones that do dual commentaries together that don't really pay off at, at all. Um, and I'm just in this for fun. You know, I mean, I don't believe in this so-called community. Never have I been approached by someone with something interesting or I just, you know, I just don't believe that there really is a community anymore. Um, but whatever, that's not what this is about. It's about the complaining. Um, so, you know, just just do it for fun. Don't, don't complain. Don't do things you don't enjoy. Um, I was actually thinking a few minutes ago of doing my own my own video on um, what people call the community, but I just don't want to talk about it too much because it's just annoying and, and pointless. Um, you know, just make videos for fun. Uh, no matter what the subject is, no matter how you're going to do it, just make your videos for fun. Make sure that you enjoy doing them because that way um, you're not going to complain in your videos. I don't think I ever complain at all, except for this video. I'm complaining about people that complain, which is ironic. But um, just, you know, have fun with what you're doing. Don't don't ask people to do dual commentaries with you just so you'll get subs. Just do everything for fun. I'm just having tons of fun playing all these games that I'm doing right now. And, I mean, yesterday, for example, I had a live stream that lasted five hours with King's Entourage, which was just amazing. It was so much fun. Um, you know, just... No matter what you decide to do, make sure that it's entertaining to listen to and just have fun with it. Don't worry too much about what people are going to say about, you know, the community or whatever. Don't worry about anything. Just have fun with it. You know, just most of the time, the first thing that comes to mind, it, it actually works out well. Um, because you're like, oh, I really enjoy playing this video game. Uh, personally, I want to make a video on it, but then later you're like, oh, maybe people won't enjoy it. I should probably play Call of Duty instead. And then you're going to be complaining about Call of Duty, because I'm pretty sure that like 80% of all Call of Duty commentaries is people saying that, oh, uh, this, this part about the game is stupid, and spawns aren't good, and this weapon is overpowered. Just uh, just have fun with it. You know, that's my, my final, final point on that. So that's pretty much all I have to say for this video, I guess, on uh, what to talk about. Um, I'll probably come up with some more subjects later on. I'm not sure if they're going to be any good, but I'll come up with some more stuff to talk about. I just hope that this is at least mildly um, helpful to any people out there that just started a channel or that you know are looking for feedback or whatever. And again, if you have a channel and you want me to give feedback, uh, if you want anyone to give feedback, then just uh, leave a comment below and just ask for it or send me a message. But don't don't be like, um, you know, shamelessly self-promoting yourself. Just leave a comment and ask me to check out your channel and I definitely will. So uh, yeah, thanks for listening to me rant for almost 13 minutes and I'll be back sooner or later with some more stuff to talk about. So goodbye.